Welcome. In today's episode, we are going to see a very useful feature in Power BI Desktop. As you know, all BI tools are used for visualizing data. And what better way to visualize data than to put pictures in them? Not just static pictures, but interactive pictures which can participate in the interactive report analysis itself. So let's see how this is done. Let's go to Power BI. I have uh, this report here in Power BI. Right now it's blank, we will build it. But before we do that, we need to look at the data. So let's look at the data. In Power BI, we have the data tab. Three tabs, report, data, and model. I've already imported the data. I have three tables here. One contains cities, another contains a master of products, and the third one contains some data. sales data. So this is the product which is mapped. So if you go and look at this, the city master is mapped to the city ID in the sales data. And uh, in the sales data, we also have the product which is mapped. So fairly simple three table setup. Now, if you want to make a report, Look at the product master first. I have the name of the product and then I have a logo. This logo is actually a URL. So if I take this URL, copy it and go to a browser and paste it there. If I go to, let me paste it properly, HTTP. So it will actually give me the link on my page. So where is this? This is actually hosted on my blog because wherever the images are, ideally you should make sure that the images are accessible anonymously. So it could be in a SharePoint site or OneDrive, but the Power BI desktop or Power BI web should be able to access it without another login. These could be any pictures on the web also, which are publicly visible. So this is the URL. Let me copy it again and show you. So what is the URL? Some URL. So this URL is from efficiency365.com wordlogo.png. So if I actually go to this, it's going to render that logo. And that's all there is to it. Now the issue is in Power BI, when we come back, look at the data type of this. This is text. So let's try to make a visual. I'm going to make a matrix visual so that it is like a pivot table. And I'm going to put the product name first in the row area. So obviously it's just going to show me products. Now instead of the product name, if I put the logo, notice what happens. It is showing me this just as the URL and that's the problem. We will come back to it, but let me also put some amount there so that we can see what is happening. Having done this, now I want this to be interpreted as an image. And that's where the issue is. This is not possible in Excel. This is only possible in Power BI. So I want Power BI not to show it as though it was text. I want Power BI to actually understand that this is URL and at the end of the URL there is a picture. I want it to fetch the picture live and show it. That's what I mean. So how do we do that? So we go back to the data and then in the data select the column which contains the proper URL and then you go to column tools data category. By default all columns will be uncategorized. So we have to open this and make this an image URL. Fine. Now I also have another 
column which contains another set of URLs, but these are not pictures. This will actually go to the website of Word, website of Excel, website of PowerPoint, something like that. Now there is another category for that. What is that? Oh, this is called web URL. And while we are at it, there is something called barcode, which is a little weird, but anyway, let me show you. If it's a numeric thing, uncategorized drop down or the data category drop down only shows postal code or barcode because these are numeric. So this is a numeric barcode. Now, having done that, let's go back and notice it has actually rendered it exactly as expected. This is really nice. Now, where can we use this? Various types of visuals and just for demo purpose, what I did is these first five were normal static pictures and for demo, I just added an animated GIF there, which is actually an animated GIF. And as you can see, as a part of, as a part of it, it's actually rendering and the animated GIF is running. So that's another nice touch. So this is a matrix kind of visual. Where else can we put pictures as a part of interactive report. Another is, suppose we use card. Now card is supposed to show one value. So if I put logo on top of this, it doesn't understand. But there is a multi card means multi row card there. It does understand all these things and it is actually rendering this. So that's another visual. And then we have a simple table where also it will render. And we have a matrix, which is like a pivot table. So different types of visuals can render. Now, just to complete the story, is this the only way in which you can use images? No, there are multiple ways in which you can Im use images. One is static and one is dynamic. What does that mean? That means if you go to a Power BI report and say insert from the insert menu, there is an image here, but these are static images. They can be used as buttons and stuff like that, but they are not coming from the data side of the thing. And this kind of image, if I insert here, let me try to insert some image. Let's uh, put uh, some simple image here. Now this is just an image. This has some properties, I can make it into some action item like I can use it as a back button, as a jump to bookmark or move to another page or go to a particular question and answer or a web URL and I can give a link. But this is just a static picture and this picture will be stored inside the PBIX file. Whereas these are coming from the data. So this is static, this is coming from data. So we are not talking really about static. Static pictures are used for these purposes or just for decoration. Now, let's talk about this a little more. Having done all this, where else can this be used? Where else can this be used? It can be used uh, in four places as I showed you. Table, matrix, we saw both just now. We also saw multi-row card and slicer. Yes, it can also be used as a slicer, but I am finding it a little difficult to use it. Let me explain why. So this currently is a visual of type table. If I change it to slicer, it still works. And now it's going to filter things like we saw slicers yesterday. So this is fine, but there is some extra space here and it's a little difficult to utilize it. And if there is a scroll bar for visuals, ideally you should not have a scroll bar, it defeats the purpose. But yes, it can be used as a slicer. So this is the basic part. Now having done this, we can of course evolve it and make it more useful. So let's see an example. So here I have done a dashboard and let's look at the data. I have similar thing categories and I have products different types of products and each product has a photo which is coming from somewhere. Now notice 
I can potentially use a local drive URL as well, but obviously when you publish it, it's not going to work. It's only going to use uh, useful only on local drive. So remember to have publicly available URLs. That's all there is to it. And now I use this. What is this visual? This visual is actually a slicer. And now when I click on the product, it is actually filtering everything based on that product. So now this is a very useful practical visual application. Not only that, if you have a hierarchy, what does that mean? If you have a hierarchy of two kinds of images, that also works. So another example of that. So I have two types of things here. I have manufacturers. So here we have the logos of manufacturers in this column. And then I have another table, completely different table called devices and each device also has their logos or photos and they are two different tables which are related based on the manufacturer ID. So now with this we can have this is the set of manufacturers and these are all the devices they have created. Now this is one set of image URLs and this is another set of image URLs coming from two different related tables. Now if I click on say Microsoft notice these got filtered. So this is how multiple visual filters can work exactly like all other visuals in Power BI which is cross filtering. So that's how you use images. Now just to complete the topic although it's not not strictly an image. You saw that there was a data type here called uh, called let me show you there was a data type here called barcode. So what have I done here? Look at the barcodes. Now these first five barcodes are random. The last row barcode here is actually a real one. And what's the importance of that? Let let me explain. Now you may think that because it's a barcode, if I put it in a visual, it should actually generate a barcode and that's what anybody would think. But that's not the case. So if I go to this barcode and drag and drop it, it's just showing me the number. It's not generating a barcode at all. So what's the point in labeling it as a barcode? So this is a very different kind of application. Idea is Look at this report right now. What is this report? This report is showing me various logos and their amounts. Fine. So far, no problem. Let me increase the font size a little so that you can see them better. So you can see that animated GIF has a value of 17190094. Done. Now that barcode is associated with that animated GIF. So what's the point? The point is, suppose you have published this report. How do you publish a report? You publish a report by going to home and publish. Okay. So where does it get published? Of course, it gets published on the Power BI portal. So if I go here, this is the report I have published. Same report we are seeing here. Fine. Now, the same report can be seen on Power BI mobile app as well. And that's where the barcode part comes into picture. So let me show you exactly what I mean by that. So I'm now going to show you what happens in a barcode situation. There are many barcode formats and all these formats are supported in Power BI. These are very different types depending on industry and application, different types of barcodes are used. Never mind. Now the idea is if someone is carrying a mobile phone with the Power BI app in the field somewhere or in a warehouse and there are barcodes and then I want to see the details of this particular item and that is in a Power BI report. So the idea is I go to Power BI app, barcodes, I go to Power BI app and then what do I do? In the Power BI app, what do I do? When I go to the Power BI app, you will see that there is a, there is a, 
there is a there is an image what is that image doing that image is this picture or rather the camera what is that doing that's not just a regular camera it's a barcode scanner actually so what happens very interesting stuff you go there click on it and then scan something so i am actually scanning the barcode and notice that this number i have put it's in our actual data so if you go to our data here that is the number i have put so now what happens when i go and scan it what is it going to do when i scan it in power bi i have not told power bi i may have hundreds of reports in my power bi portal so what it is going to do is it's going to scan that barcode and then go through all the reports which i have access to and then it's going to check in which of those reports some columns have been marked as the data type called barcode or data category called barcode and then it will give me a menu so i may have lot of reports with me but when i scan the barcode it is only looking at barcode specific reports so this is the report and then when i click on it what it is going to do is you remember what our report is right now correct in our report we are showing all the products but now when i scan that and open that report on my mobile it's only filtering it on the matching barcode so the idea is maybe you have a warehouse or you are handling some machinery and each item has a barcode there or you are in a shopping mall and every item has a barcode and you have created a power bi website where you scan a barcode you get product details that's the idea so it's a little tricky to understand it upfront but once you get the idea is a very very powerful feature so that's how you use different kinds of images in power bi so that's it for now thank you tomorrow of course we are going to see another one from power bi how do you use qna in power bi it's a very sophisticated feature it's available on power bi desktop literally for free and it uses ai to understand your data model and answer questions and create visuals on the fly so that's it for now any questions i'll be happy to answer yes these images are clickable absolutely sada so